Hello, I'm Chris, and this is uh, what we should really call Rascar TV. It's going to be no Steven Spielberg production or Sky Sports production, done on a Logitech webcam. Uh, but it's the only thing I could work with. The mobile decided it wasn't going to record videos, and the girlfriend's camera decided it wasn't going to record sound. So, option three, third time, lucky, here we go. Instead of writing down a load of bumf about these RAS cars, um, I decided to film a video and just show you basically how the car should look, what sort of things should be in it, how the body shells look. And instead of just taking photos and writing stuff down and getting you to read through it, you can just watch this simple, easy five minute video. Well, I hope it's going to be simple and easy. Um, we'll uh, move the camera. I'm craning myself around looking at my computer screen. We'll start off at the front of the car there. I've got a nice shot of the front tyre there, just to let you know they're uh, foam tyres. Not your rubber tyres that you get on some RC cars, these are all foam tyred cars, these Marde V12s, which is essentially what this chassis is, the banger version. We've got the uh, servo there, we've got the battery tray there, a bit close, there we go. We've got your transmitter there, so your receiver there, I do know what I'm talking about, honest, your receiver, receive the signals from the transmitter, remember that way around Chris. And you've got your electric speed control, which is somewhere down there, you can just see it. There. Your motor. Those with Mardes will realise that is not your standard Mardes motor, no it's not, it's a modified motor. Team Orion, as they were once called, your 13 times 2 unit in there, about as much as your electric speed control can handle. And just behind that back tyre we've got the pinion and the spur gear. Currently running kit form. 15 on the motor and on the bigger cog there there's 50 teeth on there. And the only real other modification is those body posts. The kit form comes with a rather interesting setup. Personally don't really like it. So I've exchanged them for the normal style body posts there with your ride height adjusted there by a couple of body clips. Nice and simple. So as I've explained before, if you've read the bump price wise for the kit, you're looking at about 65 quid. A lot of the stuff in there you don't need. A lot of the stuff you'll change. If you get a cheap enough radio gear, i.e. your transmitter, your receiver, it should come with a servo. Should do. Decent kits do. Your electric speed control, you're looking at about, well, 30 pounds tops. And your motor about £25 tops. That's a brushed motor. And you also need your batteries. 6L unit as opposed to the usual 4 found in standard Mardave kits. Gives it a bit more punch on the punch of your motor. So we'll just pop that back down there. There we go, that is going to stay. I suppose a bit you like. It's why we're all here. We watch it on the track every Sunday between February and what, October, November. There you go. The cars themselves. Fourth Fusion, Blue Oval. To be fair, I've got no preference between Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Toyota. All look as cool to me. Nice paint jobs on them. Double zero. Look out for that in your mirror next time you're racing. And WarriorGraphics.com. Craig and the gang down there. This has actually just come out of their shop today. Went and picked it up about an hour ago. Looking pretty cool. There you go. A bit of chrome on there as well for you. You don't quite see that. Not the best camera in the world. But hey, check out the associates as well. EA Sports, Mag Tools, Tissiot. No, I'm dreaming again. I wish. So there you go. Shouldn't wrap if you sit like that. It will look better when it's mounted. It's a bit of a pig to mount on a video. We'll show you later. We'll just send you shots of that mounted later and put them on the group. Finally, thank you so much for supporting this Facebook group. New venture. Testing the water. See how we do. Load of NASCAR fans out there. Load of RC fans out there. Can we get them together? Can we get them on the track? Oh, incidentally. Almost forgot. You'll be wondering where that body shell came from. There you go. Hold that up there, a bit better. McAllister Racing.
as I say, bit pricey on the old imports, do look good, there is a Hunter's Systems body which is currently on order, it's currently in the post, it's currently winging its way to Morecambe UK from somewhere down south. I will paint it up, I will post pictures, I will let you know, but as I've said to people who have private messaged me in the past, I won't recommend anything that I haven't tried myself, I'm not going to go and shout about it and you end up purchasing one and it's naff, what's the point? So uh, give me a couple of weeks, I'll let you know what it's like if you're interested, it might be a cheaper option to get it over there, we'll get the details from somewhere as well and we'll post them on the Facebook group, the brilliant Facebook group made by you guys, thank you very much for participating continue to participate, continue to let your friends know about it whether they're into NASCAR or they're into RC or into both get them on there, get yourself a car, look on eBay for second hand bangers it might be a bit of a cheaper option if you know you haven't got a lot of cash, you know a few guys have said if I had the money I'd do it have a look on eBay, it's probably not as much as you think, if you've got any questions send me a private message on group and I'll do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. Uh, from me, Chris and the guys at Raskar, and thank you very much for watching, I hope this has been informative and slightly entertaining, if it's been slightly crap I do apologise, uh, as I said I'm not Steven Spielberg and I don't intend to be any time in the future. Take care, look after yourselves and I'll see you all very soon, bye bye.